Now that I have a stair, I'm going to put a series of fire rated walls to encase the stair and make it fire rated. So to do that, I'm going to go into architecture and into walls. Uh, let's me to save my project. Finished. Architecture, walls. And you'll find uh, some different partitions here, two hour rated. Here's a five inch and here's a six and an eighth. And this is basically a, uh, a four inch steel stud with two layers of Jip board. If we look at the structure, let's just take a look real quick. You'll see the metal stud three and five eighths, which is the nominal length, and then jip board five eighths, five eighths, and jip board here five eighths and five eighths. Okay, so that's a typical uh, two hour rated wall. What I'm going to do is also make another version of this, and I'm going to one side it. Okay, so I have a one sided version and then the uh, two-sided version of chipboard. Okay, so I'm going into the one-sided version and in edit I'm going to remove uh, those two there because as you'll see why in just a few minutes. So uh, I've got the one-sided version. Uh, I'm going to place it by and what I'm going to do is put that wall right here on the inside of the structure so that it's kind of missing all the structure and I'm not sure how far it's going to go yet but uh, I'll just go ahead and run it to the bay here and then on this side I want jip board on both sides and the same thing on this side so I'm going to come back and change I hit the escape key to get out walls architectural this time I'm going to use the two-sided version and we'll go from here and two sides on the core that looks fine and I'm going to go then down to here and I'm, I'm, I'll move these walls once I get my stair in place and I know exactly where I want everything to be so I'm going to move do a modify select it and we'll move it up and then we could also use a line and I could align that and we could lock that so that if we move any of that it will change and I'm going to do the same thing here I'm going to move this wall and lock that okay so now we have uh, a fire rated wall uh, we're going to need an exit door here so I'm just going to go in and uh, one sided again And I've got the side wrapped, and so I'm going to wrap this side right here. Okay. And I'm going to have a door opening in here somewhere, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, let's see, hit the tab bar and flip that. And I'll fix this later. Uh, I want this broken, so I'm going to come in here and use a, a splice and break that so that I can then move this wall to here and this wall to here. So now I have my case to open for my egress uh, door right here and if I wanted to I could just come in go into doors single flush I'd want to use the 84 inch and uh, of course I don't have a big enough opening here so and this need this will have to go to the outside so I'm going to throw this in right now it's going to give me an error there's a conflict and then I'm just going to fix it so I'm just going to move this so I have a, a little bit of return on each side now I've got an egress stair and when I put in the rest of my core I'll deal with an, uh, an opening here for it the only thing left to do is really make a hole uh, for the stair uh, through the floors if we were to go into the second floor for instance let's go to the second finished floor and open it we'll see that our handrails are popping through uh, but there's no opening uh, which there would need to be for the stair itself so what I'm going to do let's go back to first floor here actually I need to move this because if I go to a structural 
and this is where you have to think about the verticality of, of what it is you're, you're drawing. What I want is the second floor so that I can see the beams. Okay, so you can see here are the joists, and of course I'm going to have to delete those and uh, rework them. This one I definitely don't need. Uh, this one I don't need either. Uh, I can use this beam. Let's get them to a medium uh, or a fine. Okay. Oh, I don't know how that got moved. You'll see here's the edge of my beam, and of course I don't want this wall going right through the edge of my beam. So the first thing I'm going to do is align that and fix it. So I'm going to align to this edge, this edge, lock it. And of course I want to take this joist out. Oh, I have to unpin that to delete it. For the stair itself I need to move. And then I can align it really easily. So I'm going to align to this, this element there, and lock it. So now as those move, it'll, it'll move with it. Okay, so now my wall is passing by my beam and not, be, not passing through it. Okay, so I'll get a continuous firewall here. Put our other door in while we're here. Now to complete the stairs so that we have uh, access from one floor to the next, we need to cut the floors uh, surfaces. And to do that, we need to go into the floors. Only make the opening where I need it on the floor itself. Okay, so that I don't. So actually, this floor would exist. Okay, you would go up here, right? Uh, and you would go on up this direction. So it's right here that would be the down to below to the basement. So what I'm going to do is tab here until I get a hold of the floor. Okay, now I've got a hold of my concrete floor. And so what I'm going to do is create an area right here that I'm going to use to go down to the to the basement okay, part of the uh, floor. So I'm going to edit the boundary and I'm going to create a uh, an opening in this. Uh, I'm going to go over here so that this wall would be continuous. Then I'm going to go down here Side. Same thing here. And I should have probably been locking those at the same time. And this is going up. I could technically, uh, I'm just going to put this in and then decide later how exactly I'm going to. Right now, what I'm going to do is go to here. Then here, and then here. Okay. Now, I didn't lock those as I was doing them. So if I move them, this is the way that I found to do it. If I move them and then resnap them, it'll give me the lock again. So what I'm going to do is lock this opening to these edges of these walls, so that. If the walls do move, then okay. Now, since this out border or boundary is inside of another boundary and it's closed, it's going to assume that it's an opening. So if I say OK to it, we're going to see now I have an opening to below. Okay, and this is where I'm going to start my stairs now uh, to go down uh, into the basement. 
and then I can do the same thing on the second floor. So let's go to the second floor. So now that I selected the boundary, put in, and so if this is down, so I want the boundary to go from here to here, 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 and we'll just trim that. Modify this by locking it to there. Once again, I'm going to come back and lock these. Say so, okay. I can cut my openings uh, early in design. You can just put a shaft in, but I would come back and definitely uh, cut the openings to fit the design of your stairs. Now, the next one, I'm going to put in the rest of the core.